as right as rain. Boris fast and encouraged speech regard Omicron variant received praises in UK. Boris Johnson wants all adults to be offered a coronavirus booster jab by the end of January, with ministers throwing everything at stopping the Omicron Covid variant from taking hold in the UK. The Prime Minister promised another great British vaccination effort to help slow the new variant rapidly spreading across the world. Very little is known about the mutation, but scientists fear it is more vaccine-resistant than other strains of the virus. Pushing everyone eligible to get a third jab he said, the target that we have set ourselves is to offer a booster to everyone eligible by the end of January. As with the first jabs, we will be working through people by age group. At least 400 military personnel will help the NHS and volunteers deliver jabs, with centers popping up like Christmas trees. So far 22 cases of Omicron have been found in the UK, 13 in England and 9 in Scotland. From today, face coverings are once again compulsory in England in shops and settings such as banks, post offices, hairdressers, and public transport. A PCR test is also now required for all travellers returning to the UK from around the world, with people forced to self-isolate until they receive a negative result. All contacts of suspected Omicron cases must self-isolate, regardless of their age or vaccination status. Mr Johnson used his Downing Street press conference to tell the public that the new measures are necessary to ensure the success of the UK's vaccination programme is not undermined. He said tonight, I know the frustration that we all feel with this Omicron variant, the sense of exhaustion that we could be going through this all over again. But today our position is, and always will be, immeasurably better than it was a year ago. What we're doing is we're taking some proportionate, precautionary, measures while our scientists crack the Omicron code, and while we get the added protection of those boosters into the arms of those who need them most. He reinforced his message that the extra restrictions are temporary and precautionary and will be reviewed in three weeks. Some fear even more measures could be introduced at that time if the Omicron variant is surging through the UK and risks leading to an increase in hospitalizations. Scientists are urgently investigating the Omicron variant to understand more about it and just how much of a threat it is. It has far more mutations than previous strains of the virus which has led to concerns the jabs currently being deployed will be less effective. Working is already underway to adapt vaccines, with new injections set to be ready in 100 days. Yesterday Deputy Chief Medical Officer Professor Jonathan Van Tam admitted the number of mutations present in the Omicron variant makes us worry about a possible effect on vaccine effectiveness. However, he insisted it was not all doom and gloom saying, I do not want people to panic at this stage. If vaccine effectiveness is reduced, as seems pretty likely, to some extent, the biggest effects are likely to be in preventing infections and, hopefully, there will be smaller effects in preventing severe disease. The Prime Minister urged the public not to be gloomy about news of the emergence of the new variant, insisting the country was in a much better position with vaccines available. Right now, our best single defense against Omicron is to get vaccinated and to get boosted, the Prime Minister said. The Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunization, JCVI, recommended on Monday that all over 18s be offered a third jab, and the gap between the second and third doses be halved to three months. Health Secretary, Sajid Javid said, we're now able to put our booster program on steroids, and protect even more people, even more quickly, if we want to give ourselves the chance of a Christmas with our loved ones, the best thing we can do is step up, roll up our sleeves, and get protected when the time comes. This morning Health Minister Gillian Keegan told Sky News the government is very much hoping that we can keep Christmas on track with the extra measures it is bringing in. She added, of course Christmas is on track, and actually what everybody wants for Christmas is if you haven't had your first jab, come and get it, if you haven't had your second jab, come and get it, and if you haven't had your booster, come and get it when you're asked. So far more than 17.8 million Britons have received a boost vaccine. Meanwhile, 50.9 million, 88.6% of the population aged 12 and over, have had at least one dose aged 12 and over.